Uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody, who clapped. It's really beautiful. Um, I'm allowed to move um, about up to here. This is about as far as I can go, and I can go over here a little bit as well. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some poetry. And um, the first poem is about Luton, where I was brought up. And it's about the, and it's about the conflict between my working class uh, origins and the middle class status conferred upon me by a university education. And it's called Luton. <laughs> Cheers. I remember Luton as I'm swallowing my crouton. <laughs> okay, the next one's a bit more serious. Um, <laughs> uh, this one's called Pat. It's about somebody called Pat. Talking. I said, Pat, you are fat. And you are cataclysmically desirable. And to think, I used to think that slim was where it's at. Well, not anymore, Pat. You've changed that. You love yourself, you flatter yourself, you shatter their narrow image of the erotic. And Pat said, what do you mean, fat? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, right, this uh, next poem is called Winter. This is called Winter. Winter. <laughs> Piled up on pavement, the white droppings of the sky, and my dad swinging his shovel, swishing his broom, lifting the snow, shifting the snow, making sure he doesn't do any of the next door neighbor's bit. <laughs> okay, and there was a mention of neighbors there, and. Um, there is somebody coming on from Neighbours um, later on, and uh, this is about... Well, this is related to that. Um, this was written in my dressing room earlier, and I did actually see some of the other people's dressing rooms, and they were much nicer than mine. Um, it's true, it's a true, it's, it's true, it's OK. It's, you know, it's all right, you've got to... You know, it's, hierarchy is so important, so crucial. Um, but, uh, you know, jealousy is a terrible thing, so I feel OK. And this is a... <laughs> and this was written in my, in my dressing room. Preparing for my labours in my dressing room, that was rubbish. <laughs> I, I was preparing for my labours and outside the window of my horrible dressing room, <laughs> they were screaming for Craig from neighbours <laughs> whose dressing room was fantastic. Okay, and that's one minute. I've got one minute left to go. Here we go. A little bit of a, a poem about amoeba. Hello, amoeba. I wish you were my pet, but you're not really big enough to be seen by the vet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> you're a little blob of jelly. You've got no skin and bone. You're not a boy, you're not a girl, and you're not on the telephone. <laughs> I cannot get in touch with you. I cannot pull your leg. You look a little bit like a fried egg. You're a long way down the ladder that evolution trod, but you can eat with your feet or to be more discreet, obtain food with your pseudopod. And you don't have to have a partner to start a family. You can multiply by dividing. Tra la 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 lee. <laughs> John Hedley there. Thank you very much, John. And you can see more of him at the Hackney Empire over the weekend. Now, in a week